Hello everyone, Liz here with another craft and I just wanted to let everyone know that uh, we were able to attend chapel today and uh, it was a good it was a good service so I'm really glad that we went and uh, it is the Iron Horse Chapel on Fort Hood that we have been going to before COVID so this is our first time back since then and uh, I really enjoyed it so if you get a chance to go back to church, um, I'm sure that uh, you'll like it. So today we're going to make door hangers out of these grass skirts, adult grass skirts from the Dollar Tree. So if this is something that uh, you would like to do and think others would like to do, please do this and in the craft world we call this sprinkling the love and uh, if you come on please say hi and let me know where you're watching from I would appreciate that and if you make anything that uh, we do uh, please feel free to post a picture of your creation on Liz's craft page so we're gonna get started today like I said we have um, grass skirt from the Dollar Tree it comes on this jute twine here and uh, for these the size here which I think is a, a good size you only need 12 pieces for the actual hanger itself and then a piece to wrap it with so we're only going to pull 12 off to start out with and all you do is you just take it here and slide it off and then you pull it and then you just hold it in the center and you just do that with all 12 strips so we got two three this one's being difficult four Six, seven, and you're just pulling that up. This is eight, nine. Eleven, and 12. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the 13th one off just so that we will have it to wrap with this and then we can put the skirt up. So this is our 13th one. I'm just going to put it over there and then we'll lay this aside. Now you can probably get five five of these out of one adult grass skirt and like I said I got this from the Dollar Tree right here it's the adult size so what we're going to do is fold it in half and of course you already have where your half mark is you need to decide how long you want to make your tail so about right there and what we're going to do is put a clip just one of these black clips on it just to kind of hold it together while we braid so I'm just putting it on there like that and then flipping these over and then I have this metal plate here and I am just going to use a bigger clip and clip it to the top of my metal plate and that way then I can, it'll secure it for me while I braid. So I'm just going to eyeball this and uh, put it in three sections for the braid. I'm going to take a couple pieces from the center one and put it in the others. They look a little sparse. Okay, so that's about right. 
So I'm sure everybody knows how to braid. If not, um, go on YouTube and Google it. Or, I'm sorry, uh, look it up on YouTube or Google it. So I'm just braiding this grass skirt, pulling it kind of tightly. Turn my glue gun on for our embellishments, and we are making a tag for this one because I wanted them all to be a little bit different. So this is what we have: just a regular, just a regular braid, nothing fancy. You will need three clips, two smaller clips and a bigger clip. A bigger clip is to hold it onto your working surface and the two smaller ones is to hold the ends to keep them from uh, raveling out. Okay, so this is pretty much where we want our braid to end so that we have a tail, a decent sized tail. So again, I'm just gonna take my clip, I'm gonna put it along the edge. Whoops, if it doesn't flip out of my hand. So I'm just gonna clip it along the edge here and then flip it over, just so that it's holding the edge for me. Taking this clip off, we don't need our board anymore. So, we need to go ahead and um, cut this. So, you could just cut across here, but I'm just going to cut the loops. However way you want to do it is fine. You'll probably be trimming this up anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But if you're clipping the loops, just make sure you get all the loops clipped. Okay, now we want to take the um, piece, that, the 13th piece that we took off, we're going to fold it in half, and then this part here, okay, so you want to keep, you can, you can take your clips off now, and just make sure that you hold them, not the clips, hold this the skirt pieces so they don't ravel out so you don't lose your braid okay so I just have it like this and I'm flattening out it a little bit just like that and then what I want to do is Take my piece here, and you have these ends, you want to make a loop, and then you want to hold it down towards the bottom part of your, hi Dave, down towards the bottom part, the loop here, as you wrap. And then you have the ends sticking up here, you don't want to wrap those in with it. So you're just going to take, take this and you're just going to wrap it around. And you can go over top of what you've wrapped. You're just going to continue to wrap it until you get close to the end. And then you're going to take the end that you have left, you're going to put it through the, through the loops here. And then you're going to pull that and then you're going to pull your ends here and see how it tucks that up in there and somehow I've lost a loop so that one loop doesn't really want to go in there oops well 
this didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned it. But anyway, so you have it up in there, your ends. So you can just cut this off. And you can add a little bit of glue right in there. And that's what I'm going to do. I don't think you actually need it. But you're going to put um, some embellishments on there. So you don't really... Uh, it doesn't really matter if you get if the glue shows. So this is going to be the front of your door hanger right here. So you have um, these hanging down. So we're going to trim those a little bit. And this is kind of messy. And so what we have is this right here. Isn't that pretty? So let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, don't forget to sprinkle the log. Okay, this is one I did earlier. I put a metal leaf on it from another item from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this sunflower. It was a pack of six from Dollar Tree. This one here, I made a rolled rosette from the um, from the uh, skirt and added that to it. This one here, I got this off of uh, another, it was a metal thing from the Dollar Tree, and then I added a button to it. So on this one here, though, I made this cute little flower here. And it's made with this burlap that I got from the Dollar Tree. And all you do is you remove the long strips. You just, this is one of the short strips, but you remove the long strips and leave about four on the ends here and take out all the rest. And then you roll it and glue it as you go. And then it'll make a flower like this. That's the back. And you can see that and then I added a button to it so that's what I'm going to embellish this with I'm going to put that right on there just like that and it does stick up quite a bit but that's okay So I added a pretty good bit of glue there and I'm putting my flower right on there. I'm just going to hold it for a little bit and then we're going to make a tag. So for my tag, I am going to paint this little thin wood tag. I got this at Dollar General. It comes in a package and I think it's about $1.50. I think there were six in a pack, there might have been more, I'm not quite sure. But it's in their little craft section. So I'm going to paint the tag with this honeycomb folk art acrylic paint. And I did sand the sides of this uh, before I started. It does have a little uh, bit of rough edges, and I didn't want to, you know, get those stuck in my finger and get splinters. So I'm doing the edges, and I'll be painting the back of it too. So let me go ahead and paint the back. And then we're going to stencil on it, and I'm going to stencil the word fall. And I did put um, the stencil I'm using the uh, link to the stencil in the description and I would appreciate it if you would use my link if you do decide to purchase anything that way um, I do get a little percentage commission or whatever you want to call it I am an affiliate okay so we have this all painted I did the front and the back and the sides and I'm going to take my heat gun and, um, and dry it. This is a 
acrylic paint dries pretty fast. So this is what we have so far. I'm only going to do the one coat. And um, I'm going to use the Magnolia Design Co. Um, Coal Black Chalk Paste. I put a link to that in the description. And then we're going to use the, um, the stencil here. OMG, I so need a glass of wine or I'm going to sell my kids. We're going to use the F-A-L-L. -L, and that's all we're going to use. So this is one of the eight and a half, or yeah, the eight and a half by 11 stencils and it comes two in a pack. The other one is the dirt, the dishes are looking at me dirty again. So you don't always have to use, um, you know, the whole stencil. You can use parts of it. So like I said, we're going to use the F and the A and the L and the L. We'll see how that turns out. So I'm going to start the F right here, close, closer to the hole on this side. So this is where you want to be uh, careful when you are... I need to get this out of the way and just do it on my table. Now you might have to um, to fuzz your stencil. I'm not going to do it to this one. I think it's okay. So being very careful, I'm just doing the letter F. Being careful not to get it on any of the other letters. And now I want to do the A. But I'm going to have to dry the F. If you put it on there before you dry it, it will probably smear. And it looks pretty good, and I don't want it to smear. Okay, if that's good. Yep. Now I want to do the A. Now it doesn't probably matter too much if you line it up exactly. I mean, you, you can try if you want to. I'm going to try it. I'm not sure how well I'll do at it. But we will see. And again, I'm just being careful to only put this on the A. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh, yep, looks good. Looks good. F-A. And then I'm going to do the two L's. So I'm going to do these two L's right here on cell. But first I'm going to um, dry the A. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Okay, we're just making our tag for our door hanger. So we're going to do the two L's. And hope that's in the right place. So again, I'm just being careful to get these on the two L's and nothing else. That one smeared just a little bit, but we can take a toothpick or something after this dries and we can scrape that off. Or you can leave it just whatever you prefer, but I'm going to... Um, dry this. And then 
then I was just thinking I should put a leaf on this. Okay, Joanne says, hi, I am good. Mr. My new heat gun is being delivered today. Yay! You will love it. You will love it. I'm going to go over here and get another stencil. Now, I hadn't planned on using this one, but I think the leaves on here will be really cool on the tag. So, this one here is Act Justly, Love Mercy, Walk Humbly with Your God, Micah 6 8. And I have a big board of this over at the house. Not this stencil, but one that I um, went to board and brush, I think it was. And uh, I just, I love it. I love that verse. So I'm going to put a couple of leaves on it. And I'm just going to do the ones here on the end. Let's see how this works. I'm just going to do this little leaf right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get a little chalk paste on my squeegee. And I'm going to do the vine a little bit where the leaf on there and it might actually go into the L we will see it did anyway so here's our here's our sign now I forgot to get my water out and I really need to do that but I'll do that as soon as I uh, get finished here. So I'm just going to um, dry that. Okay, I'm going to close up my chalk paste. And then I have this here that was braided from a previous... Hi, Tracy from a previous project I was doing, so I just had this left over. So I'm gonna add this to my um, tag. I just folded it in half, and I'm putting it through the hole here. And then I'm putting the ends in the uh, loop. I'm gonna pull it tight, and then I am going to tie it to my hanger and I'm just going to tie this in a knot and then I'm going to cut the cut the ends of it and make sure I have it where I want it okay that's good right there so I'm just going to cut the ends and then um, I'm actually going to glue this knot down. So I'm just going to put a little glue on the back of the knot. And then I'm going to hold it down a little bit there. So these are just some ideas. Hi Shannon, how are you? Uh, if you want to see the uh, how we made these, go back to the beginning of the video. But... Um, these were made from those adult grass skirts that you get from the Dollar Tree. And you could probably get five of them out of one uh, skirt. So I have enough for at least one more. So we did this one today. I did this one earlier. I have pictures out there. And then this one was an earlier one I did. And I took the um, tree skirt and made a uh, rolled rosette with this. And then these pieces were off of other uh, things that I had bought from the Dollar Tree. And then I bought these sunflowers that were six in a pack. 
So these are just some samples of some that you can do. Of course, you can uh, you can make them and then uh, embellish them with whatever you like. You don't have to do fall. You, you can use seashells. You can use, of course, you can use buttons. I have a burlap flower with a button in it. And then we have the wooden tag with fall on it with a leaf that we stenciled. This one has a button on it. But uh, you can use beads on it. You could probably use sea glass on it. Um, just, just about anything that you have to embellish with, you can definitely use it. So, that's what we have for today. But like I said, go back and watch the beginning if you want to know how to put this together. Pretty easy. And like I said, I still have um, this much of my skirt left so I could make at least one more. And this is the adult skirt. Now, you can do it with the child skirt too, but uh, don't fold it in half and you'll have to use more of the strands when you do it. But anyway, uh, just remember if you like this video to do this. Sprinkle the love so others can see it and Facebook will keep it out there. Um, tomorrow I will have another craft for you. I have three or four that I have in mind so I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to go for. But I will post a picture of these. I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these when I get off and I will post pictures of those. And then I will post a picture of the supplies we're going to use for our next craft for tomorrow. Just remember, thank you for the hearts. Just remember that uh, tomorrow it's 1130 Central, Monday through Friday, 1130. And then uh, on the weekends, uh, noon. And, uh, you know, we've started back going to chapel. Today was our first day since COVID. And... I really enjoyed it, so if you haven't gotten back to church and your church is open, uh, you might want to do that. Hey Gilda, how are you? We're, we're already finished here, so uh, you might want to go back and watch the beginning of the video. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow at 1130, but in the meantime, keep crafting. Bye.